Hi, Alex. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You don't hear them. Every time someone comes in the room, I get a ding, ding. <laughs> Everybody, come on in. Everybody in the pool. Everybody in the pool. There we go. How we doing, kids? Blink, blink, blink. Come on. There we go. Blink. Blink. Think, whoop, think, think. 11, that's not very encouraging. And I'm one of 10. There's Wes. Here we go, now we're at 11. We're gonna make it, kids. Andy, Kate, your viewing place has changed. Yeah, I'm ready. So, is that, is that like a virtual background of a closet? Oh, a closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Omar, the beard's looking good. Coming in nice. Thanks, Beth. I'm a little jealous. Mine is splotchy. Mine is kind of too. You go, it's, the, it's about the angle. Yeah. Yeah, well, yours is at least black and not gray. Of course, when I was your age, mine was orange. It looked like Ronald McDonald. Or Smith, you still have yeah, orange hair? Huh? You still have orange hair? Yeah, the beard came in orange. Don't know. It was a bad look. At least it's gray now. Yeah, we're going with distinguished. And I'm getting in front of it. I am not getting a haircut until Wes does. Okay? That's it. I'm riding it out, kids. This is about as long as my hair has been in about 20 years. So how are we doing? One week. We get through this week. We got one more week left, and it's a short week. Okay? So we, we will make it. I have no idea what the rest of the world is doing. I have no idea what fall looks like. I just know we got to get through the rest of this week and the short next week. Okay, that being said, there's no quiz on 19, all right? Your last two worksheets and your project is it. So you can still move the needle a little bit, all right? But you've got those two worksheets and then project starts. Everyone, well, we'll talk project in a minute. So how, how are titrations going? Has anybody started? We're doing okay. Kylie, what you got? I do have one question. Okay, fire away. I'm getting a screen up. Okay, so um, when you're doing it, it has more than one moles. Does that matter? Yeah. Like, if they have a molarity of something? Yeah, <laughs> let, me sh let me show you. If we're saying the same thing, which is what I wanted to go over today anyway. Always, never fails. As soon as I get in the share screen, somebody shows up. There we go. We should be all full now. So what I think you're saying is this is bing, bing. 
five. What is today? The 20 and 19, 519. Holy moly. Okay. Titrations. So we're trying to figure out concentration. And suppose we had uh, something that looked mm, like this. Golly. Come on, Steve. Get a few brain cells working. Two HNO3s. Gonna make two waters. Gonna make a CANO32. So if, is what you're asking, and I hope it is, what do we do when we have a one to two ratio? Yeah. Yeah, that should be the question on the table right now, is what do we do when the ratio isn't one to one? Because if the ratio is one to one, throw this up here, and we just go, if a one to one ratio, we just go straight M of A, V of A equals M of B, V of B. A is acid, B is base. Very clean and very straightforward. It's when we're going to get this one to two ratio coming in. So let's get some numbers here. Suppose this calcium hydroxide was 0.125 molar. And we had, uh, da -da 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 and it took us 100 mils to titrate 150 mils of HNO3. What's the molarity of the HNO3? All right. Now, I could go into a big, long, philosophical, theoretical explanation of here's what happens and why it happens, but instead we're just going to go with here's how you get the right answer, if that's okay with everybody. Okay. We're still going to do an M of A, V of A, M of B, V of B with a twist. So, M of A is what we're looking for. Let me get red. Boom. M of A is what we're looking for. It's 150 mils. That can either be in milliliters or in liters. It doesn't matter as long as your volumes are in the same uh, unit. So as long as we've got mils and mils, we're okay. Then the calcium hydroxide is 0.125 molar it's going to take us 100 mils of that. And then to make up for this 2 to 1 ratio, I'm going to put a 2 on the side that has the 1 in the equation. I'm going to double the amount. That way, we're sure that those two things are going to be equal. I'm kind of putting this virtual 2 there to get a one-to-one -one ratio. Instead of a one-to-one, -one, I'm getting a two-to-two, -two, but the acid already has. And if we just plug this in, we end up getting M of A equal to like 0.17. So we put a two, or if it was a three-to-one, what we're gonna do is just kind of put a multiplier on the side of the equation to get them equal. Don't go what if on me yet, because I got one in a second to, to play what if. But does that one make sense? Mm -hmm. OK. Let's look at the ugly of all ugly situations then. And I don't have a problem for it but we're going to make one up. Suppose we had H3PO4 and we had uh, CaOH2. And we said, okay, well, that's going to make water because it always makes water. And it's going to make CA3PO42. Yeeks. 
to balance this out, I'm gonna need a two there, a three there, a six there. So now suppose, let, let's grab similar numbers. Let's take, um, it took 100.15 molar and we're gonna use uh, 38.5 mils of this. What's the molarity of our base? If, it, if we started out with 50 mils, of base. Everyone okay with the setup? Okay. Like I said, this is ugly, ugly, but I think you have one of these on the worksheet where it's a two to three. <clears throat> so let's just set up an MMA. 150. V of A, 38.5. I'm leaving a little space out at the beginning so I can sneak in a uh, multiplier there. And I'm looking for M of B times 50. Now, my ratio right now is three to two. So what I gotta do is on the acid side, I'm gonna need a multiplier of three and on the base side, I'm gonna need a multiplier of two so that I could get both of those. What I'm, what I'm kind of doing is multiplying this one by three and this one by two so that the product of both of those things is gonna uh, equal six. And if I bring that down, that should work. Yeah. No, Alex, or is that just a? Eh? You want to see the long drawn out version? I can show you the full answer. Here's what I would do with it. Squiggly. Um. Let's start out with the point. Now I got to get liters. 038, five liters. Point 0.150 moles per liter. Steve, so help me. Could you at least invite a brain cell or two to class? Hey, how was A-Push? Did the submit button work? Okay. We had a lot of submit problems in the NAP. Oh, okay. Matt, remember how you said like 50 people got caught cheating for... Um, yeah. I found out how... They, how are they doing it? Um, there was this Reddit that, um, call, that college board made called Dinosaurs 313. Oh, yeah. And I pretty much this. if you joined it, you were pretty much reporting yourself for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> they tracked it back to the college board headquarters, apparently. Nice. So 50 people <laughs> joined a Google, like, put in a, um, their information in a Google form and reported themselves for cheating. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but all hey. I, I just thought that it was pretty interesting. That's great. Don't All right, so now I've that. multiplied here and I got my moles of H3PO4. So now it'd be two moles of H3PO4 and three moles of CaOH2. And that should look familiar because all I'm doing right here is a U over K. Okay, the CaOH2. That's my unknown. That's what I'm looking for. And I know everything about the H3PO4. And then I just got to get that back. So if I take that, that's going to give me moles 
or CaOH2, and I'm going to divide that by 0 0.050 liters, and I should get an answer. But to be honest with you, I think it's a little easier if you just do the thingy up top where you take the coefficient from the other one, the acid, and put it on the base side, and you take the coefficient from the base and put it on the acid side. You just flip-flop them. I think that's easier. So titration things, you got worksheet one, worksheet two. That's the last homework. And we have final project. So I have another question. Okay, fire. So on the first worksheet, since that wasn't introduced to till the 5A, then yeah. should we, are we assuming that it's a one-to-one -one ratio? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to look at the problem to know if it's one-to-one. -one. Okay. So do we just not have any worksheets in that week, next week? Nope. No, because it'll all be project work. Plus, remember, next week is a short week, guys. Next week, you're off Monday because of the Memorial Day holiday. Um, so, let me, let's talk. Did everybody get their groups? Everybody figure out their groups? Has anybody looked in their groups? No one's looked. I have. Highly looked. I've looked. <laughs> I've I looked, looked at it for a second, but I don't know what the project is yet. Okay, well, let's take a look, see at that. Let's say goodbye there. Let's go into here. And go into there and go into there. And go into, boy, there's a lot of stuff in here. There. Nope, 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 missed it. That's the one. Okay. So, share. Uh, that's the one I want. So, you're making a board game, you're making a review game. We're reviewing for a final that's never going to happen which is the best kind of final to review for. This is a final project as a group. There are 40 points out there. You're gonna make a board game. It could be a board, it could be a virtual board. Whatever it is, it has to be shareable. That's the only deal with that. You can't, you, you, you can't author this in, in Linux and then say, oh, by the way, you, you have to have a supercomputer to run this. It's got to be something functional that you can send and submit. All right, a board game, a simple board game. All right, you're going to create that and it's basically a review game. I've got you guys in three groups. You've been sent a link to a shared folder. If you look at who that folder is shared with, that's your group. Each group should have six people in it. Okay, if we break this down into six people, this is very doable. Your group is going to create a title of your game. You're going to name it. You've got to market it. It's all about marketing and brand. Okay, you're going to create a board and pieces that move around that board. No cheating, no stealing them from sorry, monopoly, anything else. There shouldn't be any top hats or race cars. Make your own pieces. Try and keep in mind, it's a chemistry game. Huh, okay. Create some rules for how the game works, how pieces move around the board. How does that all fit together? Okay. Then there has to be playing cards and content. For that, we've covered from chapters 10 through 19. You're to create three to eight. I say three to eight. We're shooting for five questions per chapter that are review questions. Okay. And then you as a group, present this to me next Thursday, not this Thursday, next Thursday. So what happens is in your file that I've shared with you are each of these progress checks. Progress check one is a Google form. It basically says, here's who's responsible for what. Plain and simple. So it says, Jack is responsible for uh, review questions for chapters 10 and 11. Tate's going to be review chat review pieces for 
uh, 12 and 13. Nishant's going to be uh, responsible for creating the board and the pieces. Uh, Ben's going to be responsible for creating the rules and the movement. And then next Thursday, you guys, I'll come in. And, and that's just the dissemination. Then on Tuesday, playability. I want to know, I want to see a sketch of the board. Doesn't have to be the finished project, but I want to see a sketch of the board. Want to see a kind of idea of what the rules are. Is it functional? There's 10 points hanging on that as a group. Okay. That's why I need to know who's responsible for doing this. Uh, then the questions, the review questions themselves should be done by Wednesday of next week. There's a Google form. You just duplicate that each time you want to add a question. And I've, I've pre-made all this stuff out there. And then next Thursday, you're going to make a Zoom prezo to me. Everybody goes next Thursday. These are five-minute prezos. These are short. These are not, these are not big shark tank prezos. Then between next Thursday and next Friday, you make me a final flip grid on saying, hey, I did this in the project, I thought it was okay, or I did this, I thought it was the dumbest thing you've ever done, Smath, we should have done this instead. And you guys know I'm perfectly okay with, you know, criticism. So that's what the final project review looks like. So in each of your folders, let me see if I can get there, think, Think. I don't think I can share that. Yes, I can. Looky there. You can share anything. Okay. So in period one, group one, there are those progress checks. If I drag this out, there's each one of those progress checks. So if I open up that file, hopefully, Yeah. Shoot. I don't know if it'll tell me this way. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not very happy. Okay. But that's where those progress checks are. And you guys, when you open them up, it's not behaving very well because I'm sharing it. It'll say shared with, and you can see, you guys are familiar with Google Docs. You can see the initials of who it's all shared with. Okay. So that being said, questions about final project questions. So by, by Friday, you've got to have five, five A worksheet. Both of those are in and that just that dissemination sheet of who's doing what. So get together, find your group and spend some time working on this thing. Questions, problems, concerns. Groups were put together pretty randomly. All I did was just go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, and everybody fell out real nicely. That's your final thing to do for the whole year. Benoit, this is the end of your chemical education forever. Hold back the tears. It's okay. Never say never. But this is the end of the year. And this is an okay thing. This is a coasting. You guys, these are bunny points. Don't screw this up. I'm trying to give away points. Everybody has good grades. So let's not mess them up here. Okay. Open for questions. Otherwise, I've got office hours tomorrow at three. I've got them again on Friday, but this titration stuff is really pretty straightforward. They're, they're a little goofy when they're not one to one. Excuse me. But other than that, you guys should be able to finish this pretty well. Okay. All right, kids. We're out. That's all I got. We're done. Uh, I'll see y'all next week. Okay. Toodles. Toodles.